Cotton bunchtop is a plant infecting virus that affects cotton crops in Australia. It was first found in Australia in around about the late 1990s and it's been subsequently found to affect cotton crops in a whole range of growing regions. Cotton aphids are the vector for the cotton bunchtop virus. Once the plants are infected, they tend to show a range of symptoms over time. If we're out in the paddock and we're trying to decide whether a plant might be infected with cotton bunchtop virus, we can look for really distinctive symptoms. One thing that can be a little bit confusing is, is a leaf perhaps like this, which could be caused by mite damage or just early senescence. It's really not a very distinctive sort of yellowing pattern on the, on the leaf. If you compare that to this plant, which has got cotton bunch top, and it's got a very distinctive angular pattern of chlorosis around the outside of the leaf, and sometimes these patches within, where they're always delineated by the minor veins on the leaf. Also, the shortening of the internode, and this plant here really demonstrates that quite well. It's very short and bunched, and you've got these smaller dwarfed leaves, which are slightly down curled and a bit thicker to touch in comparison to a healthy plant. Sometimes if you hold it in your hand and you crunch it, then it actually gives a quite a distinctive brittle feel in your hand compared to a healthy leaf which just tends to fold. If you've got some concerns that you may have cotton bunch top in, in your crop or also other viruses that you may think look like a virus but may not be cotton bunch top, we need to know about those as well because there's, there's exotic threats out there that are, that are a real threat to the industry. So if you see symptoms, for, for instance, like this, if you want to get, be sure about it, we're happy to do the diagnostics if you send us the samples. The best way to send samples is to take a part of the plant, just a small part, like about a hand span of the top of the plant, which is showing clear symptoms like this. If you collect it directly into a plastic bag with a little bit of slightly damp paper towel, seal up the bag and post it overnight by courier or overnight express. Once we have the samples in the lab, we then usually do a molecular test, which is the PCR polymerase chain reaction. And that basically uses the characteristics of the genome of the virus where we can identify a very specific part of it and give us an absolute answer as to which virus it is. We can use lab techniques such as PCR to identify known viruses, but for unknowns, sometimes we have to try something different. What we can actually do is take part of our suspect plant, we then graft it onto a healthy test plant. It only needs to survive for long enough to transmit the unknown virus or pathogen into the healthy plant and then in this case it's actually cotton bunch top and you can see the, the leaves are starting to curl down and we're starting to get symptoms which are typical of cotton bunch top.